everyone and welcome to episode three of Crush It On Social. So today I've got a variety of different examples for you. We are looking at photographers, we're looking at um, retailers selling physical products, looking at American Kennel Club again, and really focusing also on how to utilize behind the scenes photos and videos and Facebook Lives to increase your marketing and really get more engagement on Facebook. Okay, so let's get into it. My first example is American Kennel Club. I know I mentioned them in the last Crush It On Social video, but I really like what they're doing on social media um, and I follow them now that I just got a dog, but I think they do a great job of engaging with people and making their content um, funny and exciting and not just pictures of dogs all the time. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'll try to explain that more now. So we've got a post that says, getting out of work on Friday like dot dot dot. Then they're just puppies, but we Mariners are a breed with a lot of energy and then a link for you to learn more about that specific breed. So then um, if you click, you'll see that it's a video. cute it's funny um, and they've been doing a lot of this stuff lately I've noticed on their feed let me see if I can find another one for you and they mix it in with like the breed of the day or breed of the week which we talked about um, in the last video so here we've got another one two pampered Pomeranians these two are relaxed to the max but palms are generally an alert lively breed and then a link to learn more about that breed so what they're doing is they're finding these cute videos from people see so you'll see here credit um, to whoever this person the original video was and they're using it to capture people's attention in the feeds because video is huge right now on Facebook especially anything that is cute and funny and then they're interjecting their own content in that so let me see if I can find one more example for you these guys have the appeal of a teddy bear, but it's their independence and dignity that make them unique. And then a link to learn more about the Chow Chow. So definitely check out American Kennel Club on Facebook for more ideas for your own content. Um, the easy thing about this too is that you can find stuff from other people and use it and as long as you're crediting them. So you don't even have to create the videos or create the content. If you don't have the time or you don't want to be in the videos or whatever, you can find it, ask for permission to use it, credit them, and then make a post with the video. Whether it's something like this with a dog or a recipe or a how-to video, and then add in your link to whatever content you want to share. So my next example is by this photographer, Stephanie Kata Photography. So she is a um, newborn photographer. So if we scroll through your feed, you will see, you know, the typical newborn photography. But what I liked that she's doing is using Facebook Live to go behind the scenes of her photo shoot. So if we press play, you'll see the baby, the props, you see her shooting the photos and setting everything up. And it's just a great way to show her fans and followers what she does in the photo shoot. And so now if people are interested in, it, in newborn photography, they're able to learn more about her, see her style, see how she's interacting with the baby, the props and all that, and kind of learn more about her that way. Facebook Live is another thing that's a huge right now with Facebook and something that you guys should all start implementing if you haven't already. And this is a good way to do so. If you have someone who can film you behind the scenes, whether it's photography or whether it's, um, you know, just a snippet of your day at your workplace or your office or you making a craft or, um, you know, there whatever behind the scenes would be for you in your business, think about how you can put that into a video or a Facebook Live. And you'll see she has 20,000 views on this and 60 shares. So really harness the power of video right now that's my my main tip okay so let's go to the next one which is another newborn photographer and i just wanted to show you an example of another behind the scenes um photo so let's say you're just not comfortable yet with being on video then 
do photos, do behind the scenes photos. So especially with photographers, a lot of people, you see like obviously the final product, everything's nice and edited and looks beautiful, but it's always good to show people what's happening, what is happening I know I've said behind the scenes now like 50 times, but what is happening behind the scenes? Like, how is the photographer working? How is she setting this all up? Like, you see the final image and sometimes you wonder, like, how did she put this baby into these positions or, like, the backdrop? And what do you think your audience would want to know about you and your business? Um, Let's say you're... A boutique owner you know you could show people like how you set up your store what goes into that because um, I'm sure it's not just you know you're hanging clothes on a rack wherever there's a system in place or um, when you get the clothes in like what do you do with them either think of questions that people might have or if you're not sure ask your customers ask them like what would you if you could ask me any question about my day what would it be or about what I do, what would it be? And do a poll and find out that way. All right, my next example is from 50 Flowers. This is a florist. I started uh, kind of veering into wedding related examples from here on out. Um, That's just the idea that popped into my mind for this video of for giving you examples. So this is a florist and what I liked is um, she, she gives a lot of examples of flowers. Let me just show you one. So she does bouquet breakdown where you can go on her blog and find out the breakdown of what is in this specific bouquet. My only critique here is she didn't include a link to the blog. Oh, I lied. There it is. It's in the comments. So I would veer away from doing this. People have been doing this because in the past, um, Facebook with the algorithm would show posts with links in the text less in news feeds but that has actually changed and now they will actually show posts with links in the text more um and you know facebook algorithm is always changing so right now you can certainly put links in your caption and not be penalized for that so that would be my recommendations don't put it in the comments because it if like I didn't see it until now. Just put it in the text with the photo so it's very easily seen and clickable. Anyway, I got off on a tangent there. So my example for um, 50 flowers. So I liked how she here she's talking about moss and breaking down exactly how much of each type of moss you would need to cover a surface which is probably a, yeah, see, one of the most common questions. I was going to say probably a common question from a bride who might be using moss in her centerpieces or decorations or what have you. So then the next post she did was part three of the Moss Madness series, highlighting the varieties of moss we have available. Okay, that's great. Um, I love that she did a video on this, and I'm sure it's super helpful. So my only tip would be to embed the video right in Facebook as opposed to linking it to YouTube. Um, The reason being is that if you're scrolling through your feed and you were to see this video and it caught your attention, you could watch it right in your feed, right in Facebook and, and learn more right there as opposed to having to click on the link and open up, if you're on mobile, which most people are, open up the YouTube app to watch it and all of that stuff. So, uh, I know a lot of people wonder like, can I do video on Facebook and YouTube and that's so much, but you can just repurpose things. So if you shot a video, definitely post it on YouTube, but also just upload it on its own to Facebook and and keep those two things separate. Okay, so my next example is 100 layer cake. So we just talked about with uh, American Kennel Club how they're taking content from other people and repurposing it um, and crediting them and using that to to use as their own content. So this is another example of that. If you're struggling to create content or don't know what to post, then think about whose content can you share that is not your own that you can then give credit to. So 100 layer cake here is sharing um, this person's wedding and you could see they have all these photos. They credited Sophie Epton Photography, uh, Town Events and Travel, the florist, the cake and all that. So they're tagging all these people 
um, which also helps the post get seen more because these people might now share this post on their own page. And they're also using the photos and crediting them to the photographer. So they actually didn't have to do any of this work other than, um, you know, writing the blog post for it. Okay, so again, just think of how you can use someone else's content appropriately, as in you need to credit them and ask them for permission first on your social media or your blog. And that way you don't have to waste time doing it yourself. It just could make your job a little bit easier when it comes to social media marketing. Okay, so next we've got Joyful Tidings Bridal. So in my first video, I showed you a an example from the Red Toad Boutique, which is a local boutique in my town, and how they were doing this product shown thing so you could shop right from, from Facebook. So this post, introducing our new men's canvas bags, they've got multiple photos uploaded so you can see it in whatever color you want to see it in brown black and then products shown and you can click on it and then shop right there so I tried to figure out the way to do this um, you do need to set up your shop on Facebook so see here if you click on shop they have it all set up once you set up your shop and put in your products then once you go to make a status, let's say you uploaded a photo of this, it'll give you the option to add the price and stuff. So that way you'll get that um, thing at the bottom of your image that says shop now. Let me find the, like, here we go. Product shown. So this is definitely a great way to uh, sell things right in Facebook. Again, you want to make things as easy as possible for your customers or potential customers. Not clicking out of Facebook makes that super easy, especially if they're on mobile. So I hope that was all very helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching again. And please leave a comment below with any questions you might have regarding this episode or marketing, social media marketing in general. I'd be happy to answer in future episodes. Or if you have any businesses or brands that stand out to you, certainly let me know so I could check them out as well. Um, I think the key takeaway from this week's video is to see how you can start doing Facebook Live or uploading videos to Facebook to increase your marketing, get more engagement on your page, and give people that um, behind the scenes type feel or more relatable content that they can watch and feel like they really are getting to know you as the business owner and getting to know your business or brand. Like I said, if you have any questions, leave them below. I'd be happy to answer them. And make sure to join my free Facebook group where we talk more about social media marketing tips, updates, news, and all that stuff. I'm working on an Instagram freebie, so seven strategies on how to use Instagram for more clients and leads. So join my group and you'll find that link there. All right, see you next week. Bye.